Hi, today is March 17, 2020. I'm going to give you an update of coronavirus vaccine. And before we can talk about the vaccine, let's have a look at this uh, pandemic situation. So as of today, the total case of 194,735 and total death is 7,896. And it may be easy for us to understand the dynamic process of this total case and total deaths. On the left side is total case, and in the right side is total deaths. In both situations, the trend is up. And it looks like it's a rich like explanation uh, phase. And let's uh, look at the individual country and the uh, cases. So as of today, uh, there are 163 countries and territories affected by this uh, virus. As I mentioned earlier that the epicenter of this pandemic is right now in European countries. In Italy, uh, yesterday alone, the 3,000 526 cases and uh, more than 300 deaths and so the Italy is the first country the other country looks like follow uh, Italy's footsteps like Spain yesterday along them more than 1,000 cases and more than 100 deaths and other European countries like Germany France and Switzerland, UK, Netherlands, Norway, Austria, and Belgium, Sweden, Denmark, all have significant increase of new cases, and also have a lot of deaths. And not in developments in USA after they have resources to test all the old samples. So yesterday, long to have more than 1,000 new cases and 11 deaths. Uh, looks like that pandemic's really in progress. Uh, no one knows how long this will take. And good thing is that every country now is take this very serious and they take very, very emergency procedure, try to control this uh, pandemic. And of course, vaccine may be the best way to control such epidemic. So, and scientists all around the world work very hard to try to come out some vaccine. And so, yesterday we told this this one vaccine is on this uh, phase one clinic trial. So, let's witness this uh, uh, historic moment. And the la this lady is uh, called Jennifer. Horror. and she's the first one to re receive this uh, COVID-19 vaccine in U.S. And let's look look at this uh, video together to witness this uh, historic moment. It's unbelievable. I'm really excited about that. Um, it was it was easy. Uh, it was just like a flu shot, or you know, I had a flu shot a couple months ago. It was very similar to that process. Uh, it didn't hurt. I was very happy about that. You know, the privilege that I have to look not looks like the vaccine is uh, at least in initial injection, so they have very literally. Uh, negative response means it looks like it's just like full shot, like ordinary share shot. And so let's going to look at look at details how this phase one clinic trial was will, will be carried out. And so yesterday we just gave a general description. Today we want to get into details how this first phase one clinic trial will, will be done. So, 
this vaccine is a slower lip, narrow particle uh, in capsid messenger RNA based vaccine. And this messenger RNA is, is encoded four lens perfusion stabilized spike protein of this quad 19. So the four lens means that this messenger RNA can be used to express this uh, S protein or the spike protein of the quad 19. And the trice open label, so that means not possible, not, no, not blinded. So the know, everyone know what it is. And those range in clinical trial in both males and females. And uh, you know participant with uh, 18 to 50, 50 years old of age and they have good health. And also to meet, meet all eligibility criteria, this long list of criteria to make sure that the the factors more not affect this vaccine, so we need to exclude some people. For example, they already have get the disease. Maybe they already traveled to China. They already infected. The good thing is that we need to have a naive population and to see how the immune response to this um, protein. And the purpose of this trial was try to access the safety how safe the vaccine is, and the reactor genesity. That means how the people respond to this uh, vaccine. Means side effect, if you have pain, swearing, or you have the local response, or you have kind of systemic response, like fever or cough or anything. And also important thing is to look at the immunogenicity of this vaccine. And that's just to look how the body responds to this vaccine and how uh, the immune system, system generates antibodies against this, this protein. And this uh, total subject is 45 and the three cohorts, and they're going to talk about it later, of how, what is the of cohort. Uh, this is the intern muscular injection of vaccine on day one and day 29 on delta muscle. And also the subject before us was 12 months post second vaccination. And so the total observation day was 394. So the primary objective is to vary safety, how safe this vaccine is, and also see the reactor genesis as mentioned earlier. So, so that as I mentioned earlier, that three cohort, and that means three group of people. And the first group of people is uh, give twenty five microgram of the vaccine through use 0.5 mils of intermuscular rejection of delta muscle on two days, day one, day one and day 29. And total subject was 15, including four, four was in the, at least 50 years old, and 11 will be uh, average from 15 to 50. And the, all the, the second group is uh, uh, same vaccine and same uh, problem, same organization, but they use 100 micron for each of each, each participant. And the third group, group is is the same, only is the dose is 250 microgram, and that's the three cohort. So, and the clinical trial will be last until about uh, June because after you like today's March so the last one will, will reach about April so after inject the vaccine we need follow to see what is the reaction and, and 
local reaction, systematic reaction. And in the same time, also need to collect samples to see how the immune response and the uh, immune response they're going to look at is to see what is antibody response to this uh, spike protein. And generally speaking, I think they need to have they have baseline antibody level. And then usually after vaccination, you need to have at least four times increase of the antibody. That's maybe the criteria. And so the first one will be last until around June, June. So maybe after June, we hope to see some results. And then this, based on this data, we we'll can we'll decide to go on the phase two clinical trial a lot. And in the phase two clinical trial, then you have a uh, little bit large scales of, of participants. You may at least need about 200 to 300 people participate in this clinical trial to further evaluate the safety and also immunogenicity of the, of the vaccine. And this is the update of the vaccine for today. And I wish to see you in my next video. And if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel so you will not first when I have some video like this. Thank you and bye.